Welcome everybody to BC High for tonight's game between the Boxers of Brockton High School and the Eagles of BC High. BC High and the MIAA support sportsmanship at the highest level. We ask all in attendance at today's game to please be courteous to all players, coaches, officials, and spectators. Please enjoy the game today between BC High and Brockton. Now, if you'd all please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Good evening and welcome to the campus of Boston College High School in Boston, Massachusetts for this BCA Sports presentation of Brockton Boxers football tonight. The Brockton Boxers on the road taking on the BC High Eagles in a consolation game of sorts. Both teams eliminated from MIAA playoff contention last week. The Boxers dropping a game to Franklin 28-14. BC High losing to Catholic Memorial by a score of 27 to 16, a game in which they were down 27 to nothing at halftime. Put 16 up in the second half, but too little, far too late, and that leads us to today. BC High kicking off to Brockton left to right to begin this contest. The Returner for Brockton bobbles the football inside the five, able to pick it up and will be taken down around the 20 yard line, which is where the Brockton Boxers offense will take over with 11 minutes and 50 seconds left to go in their first Four quarter. Once again, my name is Peter Zimmore. Glad to be joining you here on Brockton Community Access Brockton for the first time this season in hard. the booth calling game and doing it solo nevertheless. Brockton. But glad to be here with you on this broadcast. We first and 10 for the Brockton Boxers. They're going to spot the football Brockton takes over first and 10 at their own 21 yards. At line. their own 21 so Brockton operating out of the shotgun, wide out split to the left and right side of the field. And they will put it on the ground for the first play from scrimmage. Go, 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 go. 
quarterback, Devontae Medley on the carry. So it's a quarterback keeper by Devontae Medley, quarterback for Brockton. And that's good for a three-yard gain, second and seven forthcoming for Brockton. Brockton wearing the all-white uniforms with the maroon helmets. BC High wearing the black home jerseys, maroon pants with gold helmets. Shotgun formation once again for Brockton. And once again, it is a quarterback keeper this time. Devontae Medley is met by a profusion of BC High defenders and does not get very far at all, perhaps for a slight Anthony loss. Carry. Anthony Golden along with Ryan Carney on the tackle. Loss will be out on the play. It'll be third and eight. So they're going to count it for a one-yard loss, bringing about a third Just down and eight. The Brockton 25-yard line. Not sure if they move the stick too much at all, actually. Shotgun formation once again for the boxers. Devontae Medley looking to air it out. Has it a receiver. Pass, I believe, is complete to the far side of the field. That looks to be good for a first down as long as it was inbounds. Medley's pass complete to number 11, Davon Reed. Good and that is first the down. case. Devontae Medley hits Navon Reed for the first down on his first pass attempt of the ball game. Moves the chains. No huddle situation for the boxers. First and 10. The ball is now spotted. Well, we'll get to that in just a moment as Medley looking to air it out against. This time he opts to keep it, and he will be taken down shy of the 35-yard line. Medley on the carry. Brought down by Jack O'Connell. So we'll call that a gain of two. Gain of a couple on the play. So second down and eight for second Brockton. Eight at the Brockton 33-yard line. So the ball will be officially spotted at the 33-yard line of the boxers. Five wideouts for Brockton. Medley operating out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Looks down the middle, and that is going to be incomplete. Medley's pass incomplete. Number 21, Ian McCarron on the coverage. It'll bring up third down and eight. So third down situation for the At boxers. The Mentioned this is a consolation game of sorts for both teams as they're eliminated from MIAA playoff contention. The Brock and Boxers do have one more game on the schedule before the season is up. Thanksgiving morning, they'll be taking on the Bridgewater Random Trojans in what has become a tradition in recent years. Medley out of the shotgun once again. Four wideouts this time, one back. Slightly steps to the right. Looks for a receiver on the far side of the field and incomplete. This brings about a fourth down. And more than likely, Brockton's going to have to punt, and it appears the punting unit is coming out of the field. So we should be seeing the BC High Eagles offense for the first time in just a few moments as we're scoreless with 9 minutes and 16 seconds left to go in the first quarter here at BC High. Number 87, Kevin McCarthy back to punt for Brockton. Number 10, Jacob Perez. From about the 23-yard line, Brockton punts the football away. Return man for BC High opts to just let it go, and it looks like Brockton is going to down the football around the 28-yard line of the BC High Eagles, which is where their offense will take over with nine minutes left to go in the first quarter. I was talking with some of the folks from BC High. Prior to the game, Athletic Director John Bartlett, former head coach for the BCI Eagles, now the head coach is Jonathan Brillo. And we were talking about, I believe the last time I commentated a game between these two schools was in 2007 when the BCI Eagles defeated, actually it was 2009, defeated the Brock and Boxers at Gillette Stadium for the MIAA Super Bowl. And what a game that was. First and 10 for BC High. They've got the shotgun bug as well. They keep it to the ground. The first play from scrimmage. The re ball carrier right up the middle, very close to a first down. Brendan Casamajor on the carry. And that was Brendan Casamajor, number five, the running back for 
the BCI Eagles right up the middle. That's going to be a gain of eight. So second down and two. Shotgun once again for BC High. And takes it to the far side. I think it's good for a first down. Gain of just more than two. And that's going to move the chains for BC High. So the ball spotted just shy of the 40-yard line for BC High. Quarterback Bobby Weisenhahn. Wiesenhan. Operating out of the shotgun once again from both teams. I don't think we've seen anything but the shotgun formation at this point. They go to the ground once again. Ball carry takes it to just past the 45 yard line. That was Brendan Casamajor. Gain of six on the play, it'll be second down and four. So second down and four, fourth coming after a six yard gain from Casa Major. Brennan Casa Major has not had too much difficulty four, penetrating the Brockton Boxers defense to this point, still early in the game. Clock ticking away as we approach the seven minute mark of the opening quarter. Ball carry this time taken down for a loss. They're actually not blowing the whistle just yet, but it's going to be a loss. Casamager on the carry. And it was Casamager. I jinxed him by saying that he has not found too much difficulty getting through the Brockton Number Boxers defense at this point. Eric and Blackman as soon as I say that, Brockton Blackman Boxers Blackman defense responds with a stuff. That's a two yard loss for BC High. It's going to be third down and six. The ball is going to be spotted at the Eagles' 44 yard line. The crowd here at BC High is still somewhat sparse, but it is filling up considerably more than I thought it was going to be before a game time when it was rather empty. A unique 6 p.m. kickoff start as opposed to 7 p.m. tonight. Wiesenhan, the quarterback, is picked off by Brockton. That is number 21 for the Brockton boxers. Adrian Filet with the interception, and Brockton's offense will take the field for the second time in this game. Brockton will take over first and 10 at their own 43 yard line. So Brockton will have the ball at the 43 yard line, their own 43, and it will be first and 10 thanks to the Adrian Filet interception. Filet, six foot tall, 175 pound junior with the big defensive pickup. Brockton with a rushing attempt, first play from scrimmage, and they'll be taken down the backfield for a slight loss. Rudy John Louis with the tackle in the backfield. Loss of a yard on the play, it'll be second down and 11. So, second down and 11, forthcoming for the boxers. Big interception by Filet, as we mentioned, Brendan Casamajor in the rushing attack of BC High was fairly successful to that point. But as the Eagles attempt to air it out, tr trouble found them. And now the boxers have the ball. Brockton looking to air it out now, right over the middle for a first down complete to number 11, Navon Reed. Medley's pass complete to number 11, Navon Reed. Good for a gain of 11 yards and a Brockton first down. Devontae Medley finding Reed right over the middle with a few yards to spare. And first that brings Brockton BC into BC High territory. The ball will be spotted at the Eagles 45 yard line. 447 left to go in the opening quarter. We are scoreless here at BC High. Medley back to pass. He's going to opt to rush it right up the middle. He's got some room. He's going to get past the 40-yard line taken down 
around the 38. And this will bring up a second down and four as they spot the ball at the 39. Medley looking to air it out again. And good coverage by BC High. That pass was intended for number 13, Medley Trey pass. Chula Hall. Four, and and the for defender for BC High was right on top of him. 3.59 left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton and BC High still scoreless. Third down and four situation for Brockton with the ball spotted at the BC High Eagles just shy of their 40-yard line. Just past their 40-yard line, I should say. Medley. Ultimately keeps it. Thought about going downfield ever so momentarily and opted to keep it. Does not get very far. It's going to be a fourth down situation for Brockton. And it's actually going to be a slight loss, which I think will go down as a sack since there's a quarterback still with the ball. So the ball will be spotted at the 40-yard line, fourth and five for Brockton. They're in BC territory, so Brockton is going to keep their offense on the field and go for it. Brockton wants to keep this offensive drive alive that began when Adrian Filet picked off the quarterback for BC High. Fourth and five, Medley back to pass. And has an open man. That's Reed. And he's got room to run. He'll be taken down around the 25-yard line. First down, Brockton. Navon Reed on the reception. Navon Reed with two big receptions on this offensive series thus far. Gain of 15 on play. It's good for a Brockton first down. First and 10 at the BCI 25-yard line. So gain of 15 on that play as they spot the ball at the BCI 25-yard line. Brockton not taking much time in the huddle. And Devontae Medley with a great fake quarterback keeper. And he's going to take it into the end zone. I believe that's a touchdown, Brockton. Devontae Medley with a 25-yard touchdown run. And Brockton gets on the board first with 2 minutes and 42 seconds left to go here in the opening quarter. Faked passing the ball to a, faked handing off the ball to a running back and everyone on the defensive side of BC High fell for it and he had plenty of room to run. Point after touchdown is up and good. So Brockton has a seven to nothing lead. Two minutes and 42 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. So Brockton reaping the benefits of an Adrian Filet interception and marching the ball down the field, thanks in large part to two big receptions from quarterback Devontae Medley to wide out Navon Reed, which culminates in a 25-yard touchdown run on the quarterback keeper from Devontae Medley and Brockton draws first blood seven to nothing with 2.42 left to go here in the first quarter. Big offensive series for the boxers. Number two, Abbott Watterson set to kick off for Brockton. Number 10, Jacob Perez, along with number 15. Quarterback Amik, kicker Amik Watterson with the kickoff. And the return man for BC High is going to get a decent return on that. He'll be taken down around the 35-yard line, which is around where BC High's offense will take the field for the second time in this game with 2 minutes and 32 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Good stop by Brockton's defense, and that is going to be a loss, which is going to bring up a second down and long for BC High. It's going to be second and about 14, I believe, 13 maybe. Number five, Ake 
Lenodi with the tackle in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. Second down and 13 for the Eagles. Back at their own 32. And Wiesenhahn had the open receiver bounced right off his number, incomplete. So third and long, once again, a long yarded situation for the Eagles. Third and 13. BCI looking to air it out once again. This time looking for a receiver towards the far side of the field down the sideline, incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth and long. BC High will be forced to punt the football away. It'll bring up fourth down and 13 for the Eagles. Well, good job by the Brockton Boxers defense of stopping the momentum of the BCI Eagles, forcing the punting situation. Had some woes earlier in the game, letting Brendan Kassam major run rather freely on them, but up until that point, an interception, and now forcing the Eagles to punt the football away. So good job by the Brockton Boxers defense. Head coach Peter Colombo must be quite pleased with his defensive squad. And that's going to take a BC bounce, and the ball is going to be spotted around the 40-yard line. And that is where Brockton's offense will take over with a minute 27 left to go. A minute 26 left to go in the first quarter. First down Brockton on the first play from scrimmage. That was Amik Watterson. Amik Watterson on the carry. Taking the carry to the near side of the field. And the ball spotted at the BC High 45 yard line and Brockton moves the chains. No huddle for the boxes. Shotgun formation. Medley pitches this time to the far side. It is once again gonna be Amik Watterson just the other side of the field. The flag does fly. As of right now, it's going to be against the boxers. And this is going to bring back Brockton back significantly. Personal foul against Brockton. So a personal foul against Mark. Brockton, Mark from the spot of the foul. Line, so 15 yards from the so 15 yards from the 50 yard line, Brockton went from having the ball at the BC High 45 30. to now having the ball at their own 35. This is going to be first down and 10, 20, first and 30. We have a first down and 30 situation. And we've got whistles on the field. And I believe that head coach Peter Colombo is questioning the spot of the football. The official's explanation will have to do, and it'll be first down and 30 for the Brockton Boxers with 24 seconds and ticking left to go here in the first quarter. 
Medley back to pass, a short pass. He finds Watterson, takes it to the near side, and the ball is punched out by the defender and loose. Brockton indicates that they have it. BC is indicating they have it. We haven't seen an official signal just yet. And it appears that Brockton will maintain possession of the football as the first quarter comes to an end. So after one quarter of play, Brockton on top, seven to nothing, is a 25-yard quarterback keeper from Devontae Medley, which put Brockton on the board seven zip. And as we begin the second quarter, it'll be second down and 27 for the Brockton Boxers after Medley hit Amik Watterson for what ended up being a three-yard gain on the reception. will be on sale at school starting next week. Advanced purchase tickets will be $5 for all students and parents, and they'll be $10 at the gate. So next week, tickets on sale for CM Thanksgiving, $5, players and parents. Family. $10 at the gate. So Brockton will have the ball spotted at their right, own 40, their own 37 yard line. Medley rolling to the near side and just slightly out of reach for the intended receiver, incomplete. Medley's pass incomplete. Brian Carney on the coverage. Gonna bring up third down to 27. From the Brockton 38. So third and 27 for the boxers. Medley operating out of the shotgun. And pass incomplete to a wide open. Amik Watterson. I think that's ruled as a backward pass, so the ball will be down where he covered it. I'm not even sure if that would count as a pitch or a intended pass, but nevertheless brings up a fourth and long. And Brockton will be punting the Second football back away. Back Perez and Mahoney back for the Eagles. And that is a blocked punt by BC High. Those defenders were right in on the punter from the get-go. And BC High is going to get a phenomenal spot for their offense to take the field for the first time here in the second quarter. That ball is going to be spotted. They're doing it right now. Let's see where he puts it. Looks like at the 20-yard line. So BCI's offense takes the field right in the red zone. Along with Rudy Jean-Louis. Eagles take over first and 10 at the Brockton 20-yard line. To the ground they go. Ball carrier is going to get about a five, six yard gain. And that was Casa Major on the carry. Who else? Second down and four forthcoming for the BCI Eagles. No huddle situation for BC High. They like the momentum. They're going to stick with it. So third down situation on its way for BC High. They slow things down a bit and actually go with the huddle. It'll be third and four.
And that'll be good for a first down for BC High. Pass complete. Michael Mullally on the reception. And it's Michael Mullally on the far side of the field bringing about first and goal for the Eagles. Gain of seven on the play. First and goal for the Eagles on their eight yard line. On the Crockett eight yard line. First and goal on the eight. So first and goal, ball spotted at the eight yard line for the BCI Eagles. Casamajor on the carry gets inside the five. Casamajor on the carry. Right down just inside the five yard line. Second and goal. From the four. So ball now at the four yard line. <laughs> Castle Major on the carry again. This time he's going to be taken down. Uh, or his momentum will be stalled by a profusion of Brockton defenders. Third and goal for BC High. Wiesenhahn looking to air it out, has an open receiver, complete into the end zone, touchdown. Wiesenhahn's pass complete to Michael Mullally for the touchdown. So a four yard touchdown pass from quarterback Bobby Wiesenhahn to number 15, Michael Mullally, and that puts BC High on the board with seven minutes and 33 seconds left to go in the first half. And a blocked kick by Brockton High. So, Interestingly, it was a big special teams play from BC High, which allowed BC High's offense to take the field at a very advantageous spot at the Brockton 20, which culminated in six points for BC High. However, unable to tie the game, however, as their special teams unit was unable to complete the point after touchdown. I think it will go down as a blocked kick for Brockton, but it wasn't a particularly high kick to begin with. So 7-6, to six, Brockton on top with 7.33 left to go in the first half. Return in for Brockton, takes it from around the five. And he's going to be taken down around the 15. We'll see where they spot the football. Brockton's offense takes the field. Seven minutes and 24 seconds left to go in the first half. Brockton on top seven to six here at BC High. Number six, Elliot McLeod. Number 23, Colby Galvin. And number 35, Trevor Lennard leading the charge on the tackle. Brockton will take over first and 10, just inside their 19 yard line.
Flags fly in the backfield. Looks like we've had multiple men in motion. Not sure if that was a result of the flags, but Devontae Medley is going to be taken down for a significant loss nevertheless. Flags on the play. Penalty will be declined. Legal motion declined by the Eagles. It looked like an arena football game back there, didn't it? It was a loss of four on the play. It'll be second down and 14 for the Eagles. Ozzie Trapillo with the pressure. Deflected by Nothing the defensive down. line down by number 12, Joey Brink. of BC High, and that is going to bring up It'll bring up third, down and, third and long, 14 yards to go for Brockton. At the Brockton 19. Nope, sorry, back at the Brockton 14. And intended receiver on the far side of the field. Down the sideline, incomplete. And Brock will send the punting unit in on fourth down. Six minutes and 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Brockton up by a point, seven to six over the BCI Eagles. One point difference is that BC High unable to connect on their extra point after scoring their touchdown. Kevin McCarthy back to punt. And Brockton, who previously had a blocked punt in this game, able to get the punt off this time. The return man for the BCI Eagles is going to get really nice spot for them. The we'll see where they spot the football, but that's going to be right around the 30-yard line. So BCI's offense, who took over at the 20-yard yeah, line, line last time around due to a blocked punt, this time thanks to, to their return man, are going to take over at the Brockton 30-yard line. So another very advantageous position for the BCI Eagles offense to take the field. Six minutes and 25 select seconds left to go in the first half. That's a major on the carry. He'll take it to about the 25 yard line. Should be a gain of about five. Castle major on the carry, gain of five on the play. Nodi on the tackle. Bring up a second down and very long five. Casamidra on the carry to the near side. That's good for a first down. He's got one defender to beat and some catch up with him. He'll be taken down inside the five yard line. First and goal forthcoming for BC High. Gain of 20 on the play. As BC High looks to have their first lead of this game as they're threatening to right now. First and goal with the ball spotted at the boxers five yard line. Castle Major on the carry again. I think he's short. This will bring about a second and goal. Yeah. 
thought the play was over. There seemed to be some jockeying for position. Casimir on the carry. Down the ball ground. After he's already down. So I guess the ball BCI came loose ball. after he was already down. Second That's goal. what resulted in the jockeying for position. Second down and goal, nevertheless, for the Eagles. Around the two. Uh, it's at the three. Second and goal from the three. And Casamadra up the middle for a three-yard touchdown. So for the first time in this game, BC High with the lead, 12 to seven, 408 left to go in the first half. We'll see if they vie for an extra point attempt or if they opt to go for two considering they missed the extra point attempt last time, but uh, the kicking unit is on the field. This time the kick is up and booming right through the uprights. So four minutes, eight seconds left to go in the first quarter. 13 to seven is your score. BC High Eagles with the lead. Let's have a nice welcome to our cheerleaders from Notre Dame Academy. Let's also welcome the Brockton cheerleaders over there on the other side. And while we're at it, let's have a big hand for the offensive line for the blocking on the last two drives. Canelli back to kick. Laguerre and Watterson back for Brock. Interesting kick down midfield. Brockton return man will take it to take it past the 35 yard line. brought down at their 33-yard line by the entire BCI kicking team. First and 10 at the 33 for Brockton. So first and 10 for the boxers. And to the ground they go, and the BCI Eagles defense is going to take him down on the carry. for a Ryan decent Curry loss in the backfield, bringing up a second down and long. Six on the play, second down and 16. So a loss of six. Second down and 16 now for the boxers. And Brockton unable to get it to the original line of scrimmage, so it'll be a third down and long. Medley's pass complete to Laguerre. Nevertheless, it was a complete pass, Starting so. On the tackle. Looks like they might spot it around the original line of scrimmage, line of scrimmage though, so. Third down it'll be third and 10. We have a timeout on the field. So BCA calls a timeout with 3.08 left to go in the first half. Three timeouts per half. Just a reminder, the restrooms are located outside the stadium behind the scoreboard. Snack Shack is open. Coffee, hot chocolate. Indian chips. That porta potty up there on an uneven surface, that was a frightening experience. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 
you're a skinny guy. <laughs> Third and ten for Brockton. 3.08 left to go in the first half. Shotgun formation for Medley. He's looking to pass. Looking down the middle. And it's going to be picked off by BC High around the 45-yard line. Number four, James Mahoney. With the that was James Mahoney on the interception for the BC High Eagles. So big defensive play for BC High. And with a 13-7 league, with just over three minutes to go in the first half, BCI Eagles offense will take the field at their own 45-yard line. BCI will take over first and 10 at their own 45. 301 remaining in the first half of play. And nearly picked off by Brockton. The defender could not keep a hold of it. Weighs a nice pass intended for Carter Rice. Broken up by number 39, Gibson Ako. It'll bring up second down and 10 for the Eagles. And incomplete pass as Wiesenhahn looked for a receiver on the far side of the field. So third down. BC High still with the ball spotted at their own 45 yard line. Wiesenhahn back to pass, and he's looking, and he's complete. That is going to be a 55-yard touchdown pass from Bobby Wiesenhahn to Jacob Perez, making a 27 game for BC High. From Bobby Wiesenhahn. To Jacob Perez. Give credit to Jacob Perez for making himself open for what initially appeared to be an underthrown pass. For McAnally for the extra point. And the extra point is up. And it and is good. good. So BC High with a 20 to 7 lead. Two minutes and 38 seconds left to go in the first half. And credit to the BC High defense for the interception, which led to the opportunity for those points to take place. That pass was actually thrown from the original line of scrimmage at BC High's own 45 yard line. Booming kick by BC High. Brockton will take it from the five yard line. And their tournament's got some room to run. And he is still on his feet, approaching midfield, past midfield. And he is going to take it for a 95 yard touchdown return. I don't see any flags on the field either. Number two. Amik Watterson. Amik Watterson with a 95-yard touchdown return. 
for the boxer. Well, how do you follow up a 55-yard touchdown pass if you're Amik Watterson, a 95-yard kickoff return for a touchdown? So the extra point is good. And BC High still has the lead, but this time only by six points. So, Tenorio's kick is good. 20 to 14 is your score. It Two minutes and 23 20. seconds left to go in the first half. Remaining. BC High 20, Crockton 14. It's been a fairly high scoring first half. Watterson set to kick off. Rather suddenly too. Return man for BCI takes it just shy of the 25 and he's still on his feet taking down the sideline. And he's going to be taken down past midfield. So BCI's offense will take over in Brockton territory with two minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the first half. It's a 30-yard return. BCI will take over first and 10. So that ball is going to be spotted at the Brockton 47-yard line. First and 10 for the BCI Eagles. 213 remain in the first half. And Casamajor on the carry. He's going to be, he actually might have the first down. He's damn close to it. If Casamajor on the carry. Looked like he was pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. Game so he's going to be about a yard three, short. Down and one. At the Brockton 37-yard line. Casamajor on the carry. And that's going to be a first down for BCI. Casamajor on the carry. One thing that's always made these games BCI interesting in recent years. First and ten at the I'll hold that thought. First and ten for BCI. Casamajor on the tackle. PC High calls timeout. That's their second timeout. They have one remaining. Brockton has all three of their timeouts remaining. One thing that's made these games interesting the pass, I'll look to some of my colleagues here from BC High. Are there any Brockton players on the BC High team? As in years past, there have been some Brockton kids who have attended BC High, which has made this interesting. None that we know of. In the mid-90s to the early 2000s, the mayor of Brockton, Jack Units, had children that attended BC High. That was a political conundrum when they played football. All right, second down and eight for the Eagles. At the Brockton 34-yard line. Pass complete in the far side of the field. Patrick Dooley on the reception. Third in a long two. Wow. 
loss of the yard on the play. And BC High uses their last time up. So BCA calls a timeout with a minute remaining. They will have a fourth down in Brockton in territory with the ball spotted at the boxer's 30-yard line. So BC High going to attempt a field goal. This is going to be from the 37-yard line. So a 30, a 47-yard field goal attempt for the BCI Eagles. And that is going to be wide right, no good. So Brockton's offense will take the field with 55.1 seconds left to go in the first half as they trail BC High by 620 to 14. And once again under the new Federation rules, Brockton will take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. The kick goes into the end zone. Take it out at the 20. So Brockton will start from their own 20 yard line. And Amik Watterson on the carry to the near side picks up a few yards. Brockton not electing to call a timeout, it appears. Less than 40 seconds to go. Brockton going to go in a no huddle situation, taking their time too, it seems. Medley's pass incomplete. It was deflected. This will bring about a third down. So 24.8 seconds left to go in the opening half. And Medley on the quarterback keeper, and he's going to be close to a first down. Medley on the carry. Is the timeout the called? As the clock stops at 16.5 seconds left to go in the first half. It's the first timeout of the game called by Brockton. Medley under some pressure looking downfield. And that pass is going to be complete to Reed at the 30 yard line of the BC High Eagles. Navon Reed was waiting for that like playground football. Navon Reed with the reception. So Brockton will have a first and 10 with 5.2 seconds left to go in the half. And the ball is going to be spotted, it appears at the 32-yard line 
of the Eagles following a 50 yard plus pass play. 5.3 seconds remain. Devontae Medley to Navon Reed. This Medley to Reed connection has connected very effectively a few times here in the first half of this game. Shotgun formation for Medley. Four wide receivers. Medley looking for a receiver at the far side of the field. Medley's pass knocked down. And it was knocked down three, by the defensive so back for the BCI Eagles. So the first, the first half, half concludes. BC High with a six point edge. 20 to 14 over the Brockton boxes. We'll step aside for a quick breather. We'll be back with second half action in just a moment. We're back for second half action here at BC High. Brockton kicking the ball off to the BCI Eagles to begin the second half as the boxers trail 20 to 14. And the BC High Eagles with a nice return. The return man will be taken down around the 45 yard line. That was Jacob Perez on the return. Brought down at the Brockton. 47, where the Eagles will take over first and 10. Just a reminder that BCI and the NIAA sports sportsmanship at the highest level. We ask all in attendance at today's game to please be courteous to all players, coaches, officials, and spectators. First and 10 for BC High. Close to midfield, ball spotted at the 47 yard line of the Eagles. And Casamajor up the middle, and he is going to be close to a first down. Casamajor on the carry. Gain of nine on the play. It'll be second down and one for the Eagles at the Brockton 44-yard line. So second down and one for the Eagles. And this time, the ball carrier going to be taken down in the backfield for a loss. <laughs> BC High, they're at the Brockton 48-yard line in Boxers territory. Pass complete on the near side for a first down. That is Carter Rice on the reception for BC High. And the clock continues to move and the chains move. First and 10 at the Brockton 39. So the ball placed at the boxers 39 yard line. Casamajor on the carry again, gets past the first Brockton defender. And what at first looked to be simply a slight gain turns into a gain of two yards. So second down and eight for a BC high, ball spotted at the Boxers 37 yard line. And that's going to be a near first down for the BCI Eagles once again. Casa Major on the carry. Casa Major on the carry. How many times have we said that today? 
How many yards does that kid have? Being about five on the plate. It'll be third down and two for the Eagles. Just outside the Brockton 31. Third and two for the Eagles. Have moved the ball rather efficiently down the field here in the second half to this point. And Major on the carry. He's going to be, he's going to meet a bunch of white shirts in front of him, and I think he's going to be shy of the first down. Cassie Major brought down about a yard short of the first down. They bring up fourth down and one. So fourth and one, the BCI Eagles will elect to go for it, it appears. Just inside as Wiesenhan receives the play call from head coach Jonathan Brillo on the sideline. And I think BCI was trying to draw Brockton off sides. And a timeout called by BC High. BCI calls their first timeout of the second half. They have two remaining. You could almost see Wiesenhain look at the sidelines when no one jumped initially saying. So fourth and short, BC High electing to go for it following the timeout. And they give it to Casa Major up the middle and that'll be good for BC High first down. Brendan Casa Major with the first down run. Gain of three on the play. First and 10 for the Eagles at the Brockton 28 yard line. So first and 10, BC High. A new ball carrier for BC High. I gotta look at the roster. Number 34, Matthew Park on the run for the Eagles. Matthew Park on the carry. No gain on the play. We were so used Rodrigo to saying Casa Major up the middle that Matthew Park threw us off guard. Second and 10 now for the BCI Eagles. Clock continuing to tick away. 6-10 and counting left to go here in the third quarter. Brockton trailing by six to the BCI Eagles, 20 to 14. BCI Eagles threatening now in boxers territory. Ball spotted in between the 25 and 30 yard line. Pass over the middle, incomplete. I think Brockton was hoping that the officials rule it a fumble, but he clearly never had possession of that football. All right, bring up third down and 10 for the Eagles. At the Brockton 28.
Wiesenhan looks for a receiver. Incomplete. It's to the far side of the field in the corner. Wiesenhan's pass incomplete. Tender for Carter Rice. It'll bring up fourth down and 10 for the Eagles. So a fourth down situation for BC High. We saw them vie for a field goal attempt in a similar situation in the first half. Likely not the case here as Wiesenhan walks into the huddle. And pass complete. And that's going to be an interesting spot. It was Elliot McLeod. And he comes up short of the first down. And though the pass is complete, shy of the first down on that fourth down situation, so a turnover on downs. Brockton's offense will take the field for the first time here in the second half. So they'll spot the ball at the Brockton 19 yard line. First down and 10 for the boxers. Medley on the quarterback keeper. And momentum will be stalled. Be interested to see if they give him anything in Ford momentum. Joey Brink leading the tacklers. I think him about two yards, so second down and eight. Second down and eight. Forthcoming for the boxers. Medley's pass complete. Seaver will be taken down around the 25 yard line. This will be good for a gain of a couple at least. Pass is complete. Ryan Carney and Paul Dignan on the tackle. Make that a four yard gain on the reception. So it's going to be third down and four for Brockton. Down and four for Brockton. Brockton keeps it to the ground, unable to see who the ball carrier was in that situation. And they're going to pick up the first down on momentum. And Brockton is going to keep the momentum going with no huddle. <laughs> Medley opts to keep it on his zone, and he'll be taken down right around the line of scrimmage. Might have ever so slightly got a gain on that play. You know, maybe a half a yard. Second down and 10 for Brockton. Medley on the keeper, and it'll be taken down around the 36 yard line. Medley on the keeper, brought down by Ian McCarron. So we'll call that a six yard gain. This brings about a third and four. Gain of six on the play, third down and four. Medley once again on the quarterback keeper up the middle. He's got the first down and then some. He'll be taken down at the boxer's own 45-yard line. 
Joey Brink on the tackle, but that's good for a Brockton first down. First and ten for Brockton at their own 45-yard line. So first and ten boxers. And some movement on the far side on the defensive line of the BCI Eagles, and that is a penalty. Offsides on BCI. So offsides right against there. the Eagles, and that's going to bring the boxers to midfield. First and five for Brockton at midfield. Medley on the carry once again. He's got the first down, and he'll be taken down at around the BC high 43. Medley on the carry. So a gain of tackle, seven it's good for a Brockton first down. on the Devontae Medley quarterback keeper. He's probably got more rushing yards in this game than passing yards, though. He's aired it out a little bit, particularly in the first half. Not so much here in the second just yet. Pitches this one out to... Watterson. Watterson on the carry, tripped up by O'Connell. No gain on the play, second down and 10. Nothing to be gained from that play, second down and 10 for the boxers. Less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Medley rushed the football himself to the near side out of bounds and on the it's going to be close to a first down depending where they spot the football. It looks like they might move the chains, no? Maybe a yard shy of the first down from where he ran out of bounds. 38 seconds flat left so on the clock here in the third quarter. And Watterson on the carry this time for Brockton up the middle. That should be good for the first. Watterson on the carry, Capillo on the tackle. And That's it will be good for a first down. First, down. <laughs> first and 10 for Brockton at the BCI 33. Medley going to rush the football again, this time to the far side, and it's taken down out of bounds. Medley taken out of bounds by Dan Scalaro. That stops the clock with four seconds left to go in the third. Gain of four on the play, second down and six. At the BCI, 29. Medley to the far Every side. Up by James Mahoney. And that'll be the end of the third quarter of play. So after a Score, high scoring first half, a scoreless Brock third quarter, and the score remains the same. BC High with the lead over Brockton 20 to 14 as we'll be entering the fourth quarter. And as three fourths of this game has been played, about a three fourths of a moon, I'd say, on the far side of the field. Beautiful moon overseeing Boston here tonight as the Brockton Boxers and the BCI Eagles take part in this consolation game before both teams head into Thanksgiving morning against their respective rivals. Go, D. 
Defense! All right, Brockton has third and seven at the BC High 29 yard line. So we switch sides of the field to begin the fourth quarter. Still third down for Brockton. Medley under some pressure and he's going to be taken down at around the 40-yard line. And that'll bring up a fourth and very long for the Brockton Boxers. They're going to spot the ball at the 41-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. It'll bring up fourth down and 16 for Brockton. So on fourth and 16, it looks like Brockton's bringing the punting unit. So with the ball in BC high territory, Brockton nevertheless brings in the punting unit. Beautiful booming punts. The return man for BC high is gonna meet a defender almost immediately upon receiving the football. He's taken down shy of the 20. And with 11 minutes left to go in the game, BC High's offense will take the field as the Eagles have the lead 20 to 14. BC High will take over first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. And interception Brockton. So Brockton picks off BC High at around the Eagles 40 yard line. So Brockton's offense retakes the field in BC High territory. Diamond Blakely on the interception. Second interception of the game for the Brockton Boxers defense. And that was Diamond Blakely with the interception for the Boxers. So the offense retakes the field at the Eagles 40 yard line as Brockton looks to reclaim the lead, which they have not had since the first half. And bobbled football by the ball carrier on the far side of the field. BC High sideline indicating they have it. Wishful thinking or do they? Looks like it was just like wishful thinking. Covered his own fumble. The loss of about four on the play, second down and 14. So a four yard loss with a bubble with football. That was Amik Waters in the ball carries. So second down and 14 for the boxers. And saw slight movement on the defensive side, then a lot of movement on the offensive side. And that is going to go against Brockton. Ball start against Brockton, five yard penalty. We'll now make it second down and 19 from the BC High 49. So the ball now at the BCI Eagles 49 yard line. Brockton second down and 19 with less than nine minutes to go in the game. 
The interception which gave them this offensive series has not resulted in much offense to this point. Medley back to pass. He's going to launch this one downfield, and it's easily defended by the BC High Eagles and incomplete. Medley's a pass intended for Reed, broken up by Carter Rice. It'll bring up third down and 19. Medley was throwing to a intended receiver who had two black BCI Eagle shirts right in his vicinity. Third and 19 for the boxers with 8.43 left to go in this contest. Medley was back to pass initially. He's going to rush the football on his own, lose the football, picked up by the BC High Eagles, and the man who picked up the fumble will be taken down around the 40-yard line. Nevertheless, BC High has the football, and their offense is going to take the field. Missed opportunity by the Brockton Boxers offense. Could not capitalize on the Diamond Blakely interception, which gave him the ball. I think it was stripped by Anthony Golden. So the ball is going to be spotted at the 42-yard line of the BC High Eagles, and they'll have a first and 10 situation. Casa Major on the carry for the Eagles. Casa Major on the carry. It's going to be a gain of about five yards. Gain of almost five. Second down and a long five. At the BCI 47 yard line. So second and five for BC High. And on the far side of the field, ball carrier, I believe it's Carter Rice. Carter Rice on the end around. Gain of a couple will be third down. And three. So gain of two. Bringing a third down and three to go situation for the Eagles. Up the middle goes the ball carrier, Casa Major. He's got the first down and then some takes to about the boxer's 40 yard line before he's taken down. Casa Major in the carry. That is an 11 yard gain. Gain of 11 on the play. It's good for a BC High first down. So first and 10 Eagles from the Brockton 40 yard, 40 yard line on its way. Yeah, some major on the carry once again. And that's going to be good for another gain of a little more than five as he's still on his feet. They have yet to blow the whistle. And he's going to be very close to a first down if he didn't quite have it. Great extra effort from Casa Major. Brought down about a two-yard shot. So they're going to... Second down and eight. He got himself an extra three yards just muscling it. Second down and two following the eight yard gain from Casa Major. Go, 
And this will be good for the BCI Eagles first down. Casimir on the carry. Gain of three on the play. It'll be good for a BC High first down. At the Brockton 29 yard line. Casimir during the carry, knocked out after a game of one. Second down in nine. Second down and nine. An extra skip gets a few extra yards. And Brockton elects to call a timeout. Casimir during the carry, gain of one. The third down and eight. Brockton calls timeout, their first timeout. They have two remaining. A reminder that the Thanksgiving Day game tickets go on sale next week at school. Advanced tickets are five dollars for both parents, students, family. Day of the game. The well, I've got the opportunity in this time out situation. I'd like to send a special thank you to our cameraman for tonight, Mike Simmons. Well, I have the comfort of the press box here at BC High, Mike Simmons. Braving the elements out oh, with the camera. Mike, we appreciate it. So third down situation, BC High picked off. Brockton defender will pick him off at around the 10 yard line. So that's the third interception of the game for this Brockton Boxers defense. Devin Fortes with the interception. Brockton takes over Fortes and on the interception this time the for the boxers. 320 remaining. So the Brockton boxers offense retakes the field from their own 10 yard line, first and 10. Medley has a complete pass, but I think it might be complete for a loss on the far side of the field. Not a loss, maybe a short game. So a one yard gain on the reception, second down and nine for Brockton. Less than three minutes to go in the game, Brockton trailing by six. This offensive series is gonna prove to be quite significant for Brockton. Medley back to pass, over the middle, incomplete. Medley's pass incomplete, intended for Laguerre. Carney on the coverage, 
It'll bring up third down and nine for Brockton. So big third down situation for the boxers with the clock stopped at two minutes and 42 seconds in the game. Neither team has yet to score here in the second half. Medley back to pass and looks over the middle and it's actually ultimately complete to Navon Reed. Excuse me, not Navon Reed, it was complete to I believe that was actually Devin Fortes who got the interception to begin this offensive series on the defensive side of the ball. So first down Brockton. Devin Fortes coming up big on third down just as he came up big defensively for Brockton earlier. Medley intends it to the near side incomplete. Two minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the game. Second down and 10 for the Brockton Boxers. The ball spotted at their own 19 yard line. Excuse me, 29. Second and 10 at the 28 yard line. Brockton's 28. 19, 28, 29, somewhere around there. Within 11 yards of each other. Second down and 10 for the Boxers. Medley on the keeper and he meets a defender after a few yards that greets him rather unkindly. On the carry. With the hit. Less than two minutes to go in the game. Third down Third and, down ten, and ten, ten for Brockton. Big third down situation for the boxers and incomplete. We're going to about fourth down. <laughs> so it'll be fourth and 10 for Brockton with a minute 44 left in the game. Brockton trailing by six points. And at this point, I think you do have to go for it. What do you have to lose? Medley back to pass in this fourth down situation. It has an open receiver complete, and that is going to be good for a first down. That was number 16 for Brockton, Isaiah Laguerre. With the reception, good for a Brockton first down. First and 10 for Brockton at the 41-yard line. So 41-yard line, Brockton has first and 10 at their own 41. Buck 30 left to go in the game. Medley under some pressure. Has an open receiver. Gets it past midfield. Good for the first down, and he'll be taken down at around the 37-yard line of the BCI Eagles. That was number 12, Devin Fortes, on the reception. The aerial of attack of Devontae Medley has never been better in this game than it has been on this series, and this is exactly when Brockton needs it. First and ten, Medley, short reception to a receiver who bobbles it, and will be taken down for a loss on the far side of the field. And a timeout. Watterson brought down for a loss. Carney and Golden with the tackle. Loss of three on the play. So one minute and two seconds left to go in the game. Brockton still trailing by six. Brockton took the timeout. All right, 102 remaining in regulation. Second down and 13 for Brockton. Yeah. 
So second and 13 for Brockton. One minute, two seconds left to go on the clock. Brockton at the BCI Eagles 40 yard line. Medley back to pass. And that's gonna be incomplete as the receiver catches it out of bounds on the far side of the field. Pass is incomplete, receiver was out of bounds. So 58.3 seconds left in the game and the clock stops. 58.3 So it will be a another very important third down situation for this Brockton Boxers offense late in this game. Medley out of the shotgun. And he's under a lot of pressure. And he's gonna be taken down way in the backfield at the boxer's own 40 yard line. Big, big defensive play, courtesy of the BC High Eagles. Jack O'Connell with the initial pressure and finished off by Ozzy Trapillo. And I'm gonna have to do some mathematics to This is going to be fourth down and. I think there was a loss of 20 on that play. A lot. Fourth and a lot. So that makes it fourth and 30, I believe. Does anyone want to get their abacus out to do this one? Brockton calls their final timeout. So the ball spotted at the 40 yard line of Brockton. And the first to get a first down, they need to get to the 28. So it is. We'll call it fourth and 30, as I'm just making sure that the math is correct on the field. Fourth down and 30 for Brockton. This is the game. Medley. Has a receiver complete, but way shy of the first down. That was Navon Reed with the reception. And BC High's offense will take over on downs. And I would prophesy that the victory formation is forthcoming. And it will be heading out rather soon. Let's have a nice round of applause for our cheerleaders from Notre Dame Academy on a great season. Well, what was our offensive bonanza in the first half? Defensive stand in the second half. As BC High is going to defeat the Brockton Boxers 20 to 14. Excellent effort by the Brockton Boxers offense in the late stages of this game unable to ultimately get it done an excellent job by the defense for creating those opportunities throughout the game but when it's all said and done the BC High Eagles defeat the Brockton Boxers by a score of 20 to 14 so we thank you so much for joining us here on Brockton Community Access today we will see you on Thanksgiving morning at Bridgewater Raynham when the Brockton Boxers travel to take on the Trojans will be bringing that game to you with a dual broadcast with our friends at BTV. Until then, we bid you a farewell. 20 to 14, your final score. The BCI Eagles defeat the Brockton Boxers. My name is Peter Zimbor signing off. We will see you next time.